With Lumia Stream version 6.2, we introduced you to the new overlay system. With overlays, you can quickly and easily create your overlays for OBS and synchronize them perfectly with your commands and alerts. An important tool for this are the overlay actions. You will find overlay actions in every command, alert or even in animations with which you can make your layers visible and invisible, set your timer, change the volume or even the complete content of a layer. Let's take a look at a small example. First of all, of course, we need an overlay. Go to Overlays in the left sidebar, click on Add Overlay, give your overlay a name and set your resolution. Click on Add Overlay. The Overlay Editor opens automatically. Now we want to add a video. To do this, go to Add Layer, General, Video. A video layer without content appears. Therefore, we now go to the right sidebar. Under Layer Name, we first change the name to a unique name. This is important later so that we do not confuse the layers. So we call this, for example, Memes. Under Video Settings, we can simply click on the Preview field. Our assets will open where we can choose our video or upload a new one. Select the video and you will immediately see your video playing. Now you can decide whether the video should repeat and whether it should play audio. In appearance, you can change the size of your layer as well as the opacity and rotation. Perfect! Our overlay is created and our video is on the canvas. But how do I play it now? You need to know when a new video is loaded, it plays by itself, but only once. To use a single video several times, we have to give the video the signal to play again. Therefore, we now hide the video layer, save our overlay and close the overlay editor. We go back into Lumia Stream and create a new command. To do this, go to Commands, Chat Commands, Add Command. We name the command video, change the type to no light change and choose a duration that corresponds to the video. Now we go to the overlay actions tab. Here we set what our layer should do. Here we can make the whole overlay or single layers visible and invisible, change the text content of a text layer, change the images or videos dynamically and much more. At the moment, we just want to play our layer. Therefore, we select Set Layer Visibility, because we hit our layer earlier. In the next dropdown, we select the relevant overlay. Next, the video layer. And we make sure that the box is ticked and shows Set to On. Click on Add Action. Since we want to use the command often, we also want to hide the layer again. To do this, we switch to the End tab and enter exactly the same data, except that we now want the box to be unchecked and it should show Set to Off. Click Add Action. With this, our command is already ready to show the video. You can of course also enter a chatbot or TTS message or use other features. For example, if the video has sound, it makes sense to pause Spotify. To do this, we go to the Spotify tab, select Play Pause Media as the type and set Pause in the next dropdown. We do the same in the End tab, but set it to Play again. Now we click Apply and Refresh. Now you can check whether your video works, open the Overlay Editor or link the overlay directly to OBS and watch it there. If we now enter the command exclamation mark video, our video appears in the layer, plays and disappears again. This was just a small example of how to use a video layer in the overlay. Or have your viewers display a message on your screen? I recommend using the extension for this as displaying messages has an added value for the viewer. So let's go back to our overlay over the left sidebar. Select the overlay we just created 
and also click Add Layer. There we go to General and select the text layer. Place it on the canvas and adjust the font to your liking. To do this, we go to the right sidebar. We can ignore the content in this case. Open the Styling tab and select your font, font color and the font size. Now hide the layer by clicking on the small eye in the left sidebar. Save the overlay and go back to the Lumia Stream app. Go to Commands, Switch Extensions and click Add Command. We name the command Say Something. We set the bits to 150, type to no light change and an appropriate duration. We take 30 seconds here. Switch to the Overlay Actions tab. Select the type Set Text Content. In the Overlay dropdown, we select our desired overlay. In the Layer dropdown, we select the text layer we just created. And in the Content field, we enter Prompt. Click on Add Action. Now we have set the text to change to a fewer input. Since our layer is hidden, we still need to make it visible. This works as before in the video example. Select Set Layer Visibility, the desired overlay and the corresponding text layer. We change the box to Set to On, Add Action. We switch to the End tab and do the same thing again. Only this time the box remains empty as Set to Off, Add Action. The settings in the end tab are therefore important so that the text can also disappear again after 30 seconds. By the way, almost all actions have a start and end tab. But now we want the viewer to be able to enter a message. Therefore we have to go to the extension options tab. There we tick the box, require user to enter a message to redeem. Click on apply and refresh. And that's all the magic. If you now go to your channel and click on your extension command, you will be asked to leave a message. Only after entering it, the viewer can click on activate. If they click on it, the message they entered will appear in your stream for 30 seconds. Of course, you can also activate your lights instead of no light change. You can also play a local audio file at the same time or use the sounds from voice mod. There are almost no limits to your imagination. You can do a lot of creative things with each layer. Drop in the comments what you would like to know about overlays. If you like this little tutorial, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And have a luminous day.